Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another Easter themed project and because it's Wednesday it's using the Hobby Base um, monthly kit um, product from there as well. So um, it's been really good because this month is an Easter themed box so um, the project the products worked really well for my themed week. So this is what I've got here and this is my um, kind of sweet treat uh, case I guess um, and basically you can see if I bring it up there, sorry my lighting is probably, oh no it's not too bad, this is a 3D, um, not 3D, this is a die cut three times this bunny rabbit um, really detailed. I actually this isn't the kind of dies that I tend to go for um, it reminds me of tattered lace, and I'm not a huge tattered lace fan. However, I've really, really fallen in love with this one. I think once you kind of die cut them a lot and make them thicker, for me anyway, I tend to just like them more. So I finished them off with flowers. These come in the kit, the sentiment, the um, bunny, the embellishments, and this um, paper as well um, was all in this month's kit, or just some of the stuff that was in the kit. So this is what we're gonna make. And basically, you just open it up, and inside it has these chocolate bars. So not everybody always wants an egg for, for Easter, they just want just chocolate. Um, so I've done these um, things here, these 12, Cadbury's 12s. Now these are on their own to buy are really expensive. Now chocolate is not what it was years ago, but these are a multi-pack that I purchased for a pound for all four from the co-op. So that's widely available in the UK. Lots of people will be able to get this. They're slightly smaller than the normal ones, but still much more better value for money. So this was a pound and then, you know, the fun to make it, this is just a really inexpensive um, little Easter um, gift. And also it's just a nice little case. You could put cards in this. Um, you know, it's a three quarters of an inch um, depth there, so it can be used for other things as well. And they're just stuck down with some glue dots, so they can just easily be pulled off. And then it's closed there with a Velcro dot. So it's just a really lovely little case. So let's crack on and make it. So I'm gonna be using different papers, again from the monthly kit. So this is one of the things you get, and these are the Dovecraft um, paper flowers. So I used uh, three of the yellow ones there, one large, one medium and one small. Probably not going to use them on this next one because this is more of a masculine um, case. It's exactly the same but you can see that I'm using browns because I want to give this one to a man. And I just figured the flowers maybe wouldn't work so much but that's them on there and this is them there. So easily um, added if you have them. The stamp set is this one here, Lindsay Mason Designs. And um, when I done my um, box reveal, I really, really like this one. And I've used the really fun sentiment at the bottom here, have an extraordinary, extraordinary Easter. Um, so that's the one there. But again, really nice set of photopolymer stamps there. Um, and then this is the die. So, um, there it is there, it's a really nice size. Like I said, I die cut that three times and then just stuck them on top of each other and it gives you this really nice, thick, hard, you know, um, it's almost like got a wood veneer kind of feel to it now. And that's just a really nice decorative piece. Now you could have that hanging off of a gift bag. Um, you could, you know, make it into some kind of, you know what I mean, there's loads of things to do with it. Once you make them harder, um, I think they work better, that's my my theory anyway. So that's the, the bunny. And also another little tip, and I've mentioned this before in tutorials, but this um, came in this very strong plastic case. And this plastic is brilliant for um, using as your for your acetate windows, for your shaker cards um, and things like that. So keep this, it's an, you know another good thing. And I could actually incorporate it into projects because it has really come in the kit. So there you go, get some free um, acetate. Um, these are the little embellishments, dinky dinky tiny ones, these are 2 mil adhesive stones, so I use them just to decorate, you can see that just where it catches, just around, just thought I added a nice little bit of bling. Okay, so I've got some scrap cards, so this is my own, the, the card stock, the brown and this creamy colour is from my own stash. Um, you get card bases in the kit, but I'm, I, everyone knows I'm, I'm a 3D um, paper crafter more than anything, so I'm using the other um, papers. So you had this printed one, um, like the gingham style here, this one here with the chickens, and then there's another one with polka dots on. So I'm using this chicken one. And I've just pulled out the colors and you know found this nice brown, which is gonna work well for this masculine um, card. And then I'm using a sheet of craft um, card there. So talking you through all the measurements, your main case, 
you need a piece, this is a standard piece of A4, so it's eight and a quarter by 11 and 5 eighths, 11 and 3 quarters, they kind of fluctuate between that measurement, so you need a piece that big. Then you need um, a piece of 3 by 6 and a half, and then you're going to mat on top of that a piece of um, 5 and 7 eighths of an inch by 2 and a half. Then you need another piece of six and a half by one and three quarters, and then you're going to mat on top of that a piece of five and seven eighths of an inch by one and a quarter. It's slightly just under, but one and a quarter will be fine. Then I've just die cut two squares. I'm not sure which colour I want to use. This is basically this square here that the bunny sat on, and I'm not sure whether I want the craft card or the dark brown, so I've just done it twice. But this is a die that is three and five eighths of an inch squared. But anything really, I mean, if you've got exactly this and you've got this kit and you're, you, you are, you know, pretty much crafting along with me, it's just something that sits that bunny inside like so. Okay, so this is very easy to make and pretty quick as well. So first of all, with your cardstock, scoring along the eight and a quarter inch side, you want to score at three quarters of an inch and at seven and a half. Then rotate onto the long side and you want to score at two inches, two and three quarters of an inch, and then four and three quarters just down to the first score line. Then flip it over and do four and three quarters again just down to that first score line. This is just a cutting line and it's just there purely as a guide. Then flip it back over again and carry on scoring at seven and a half all the way down and eight and a quarter all the way down. Okay, all the measurements and everything will be on my blog as normal. That is all of the scoring done, so we can get rid of that. And then we just want to go along now and burnish all of our score lines. So you'll have this thinner strip down the bottom, and then you've got a big area which is your back, and then this other one. So basically that's going to be the flap coming down, and this is the one coming up, and it will go over like so. Okay, so starting with this smaller one at the bottom, we're going to do a little bit of cutting. And basically, just on these here, these two and these two here, you just want to cut in just to that first score line, okay? You can tidy them all up a bit more in a minute. You don't really need to be cutting anything off of these like I usually do. You don't need to do that with this one. Then I'm just going to swap and get my bigger scissors, because now rotate the whole thing around, and you're going to cut from this score line here all the way down to that one here, so we're cutting this whole strip out. So let me just go down and do that one. Obviously you really need to make sure that you are staying nice and straight because this is all exposed. Oh yeah, just cut up to, sorry, you cut up to that, God, there's me going to rip it, and I'm thinking, no, that's not right, you just cut up to that um, score line. <laughs> Gosh, I was, you cut that all off and you won't be able to put the box together. You're just cutting up to that that little score line that we done, that um, four and three quarter inch one. Um, don't go past it. So don't listen to me right at the beginning then. Okay, and then the next one, you just wanna cut all the way down. Again, just, to that score line. Okay, I'll put a little caption up at that point when I say cut all the way down to that bit because you don't, don't do that. Okay, again, tidy that one up in a minute. So that is now what you should have. So these are all cut out like so, and you've got this big one like that. Then we well, will do some decorating. It's best to decorate it all when it's flat. So flip it over, and this big one here is where you're going to mat that biggest piece first. And you sit that on and it should give you a really nice little frame all the way around. So I've just popped some tape on the back of mine already. So I'm just going to stand there. The down. other one needs to go on top. Remember, obviously, that's going to fold down like so. So make sure whatever um, image you've got is facing the right way. So best to have all that facing away from you and make sure your image is facing you and then you know you've got it all in the right direction. Okay. And then flip it over, you can fold this one up, and the next piece is going to go in. Again, you all know this is my favourite card to use. Absolutely love craft card. 
Okay, and then this one again okay. on top. So now you will have your two mats like this. You see it's coming together now. I love this print, I think it's really, really cute. So now we want to stick in our side. So what you want to do first is the tiny little tab, this little square one, put some glue on that. Okay, and the back one you want to bring over like so. Okay, so just fold that one and just hold it in place. Again, make sure you've got all your nice angles. It's all nicely squared off. I'm going to pop it on its side and just with my bone tool just work that card and spread out all that glue just so you know that it's all sticking down nicely like so and again the little one on the other side just pop a little bit of glue and again the back one first and again just make sure that all sticks down nice and then with these pieces now inside you want to put glue all on the tab and then you're going to stick it over that one. Again, it should all join up nicely. If you've got any overhang, you can trim it off easily. Okay, so again, pop it on its side. I can just pop my bone tool in there. Again, make sure it's all spread out. And just do the same on this end okay, one. Yeah, you can see it's all coming together. Now, what I did do on this one, just because this card I've used, although it was strong, I think it's about 160 GSM steel, it just felt a bit flimsy. I put a piece of card on the back. I'm not going to do it with this one because the craft card is strong enough. But if you did want to mat the back, this is a four and a half by six and a half mat. And it's just just kept that you know straight, really. But this one is fine, so I don't need to do that. But if you are using a thinner card, because once you add these mats to this side, obviously that strengthens it, your back might become a bit thin, um, you know, flimsy, so you can always do that. So now what I'm gonna do is add in the chocolate because it will help when you put pressure on the front here. And basically, these are the dairy milk ones. Again, pack of four for a pound. So it's just a very expensive gift. These are slightly taller and not so fat, but again, it will fit most of our UK standard chocolate bars. So, you know, everybody should be able to use, you know, use this. So I'm just trying to evenly space them out here because you get a bit more, a bit more room with these thinner ones, like so, and then that will come down. But it means now I can push down on there, but I think that looks really quite fun. So now I just need to stick this down, but I don't know whether I want to use that color or the brown with the bunny on. So that's the brown. I'm wondering whether I need to do a slightly... No, I don't want to Okay, do so I've just been playing around. I'm going to change this one. I've just die cut a smaller square again. So this square now measures um, three and one eighth of an inch squared. I think because I'm not adding flowers to this one, because I'm using a brown colour, it can, can sometimes look a bit flat. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stick... So I'll put my double-sided tape on just a, just a partial part, three quarters of the way on the back, because obviously it's gonna overhang and you're gonna put the Velcro dot on the bottom here. So when you stick it down, you obviously don't want anything hanging, hanging over. So you wanna get it in the middle and you wanna have an even cream at the top and the bottom and then evil, evil? <laughs> even distance from the um, left and the right-hand side there, so. Just check that's all in place. Turn that over like so. And then I'll grab my Velcro dot. Oh, down to my last one. Just get them all lined up. So pop that one in the middle like so. And then flip that back over. And when, before you stick it down, just make sure you do get it all up perfectly, you know, straight in your sides and everything. And then you should have that little even cream border again at the bottom and then just under your velcro and then you can just apply pressure on both there so they're all stuck down like so. Then what I was going to do is stick this one kind of off at an angle, put the bunny right in the middle this time and then I'm going to have the sentiment coming off um, like so and then I just want to add like bling and stuff. I think when I make male kind of projects you always kind of, it's like a little bit out of my comfort zone for me but it's... Uh, we do need to do it. So I'm going to pop some in the middle there because I'm going to be overhanging it. I don't really want to put too much so it doesn't go all over the place, like so. And then I'm just going to put some on my hand. 
just to glue up the bunny rather than uh, it's just easier doing it like this like so and then stick that so it's kind of all coming off I mean this has got lots of dimension to it which I'll bring up and show you in the camera in a minute because you might not be able to make it out too much but it looks really good close up like so and then with that scrap piece of cream here and some brown I've got my sentiment and I've just got this um, cherry cobbler um, ink colour here and I'm just going to stamp that up on here like so, so it's, it's a real deep deepy brown colour that one and then just cut this one you can obviously run this through your trimmer if you want I'm just doing this all by hand. So just put a little bit of glue on the back there and then I'm just going to stick it right up into the corner of one of these straight sides so it's already been framed on two of the sides and then all I have to do is just cut the same like so and again like so just straighten that out a little bit and I think I'm going to pop that one up there so I'm going to pop a little piece of foam on the far right hand side just because obviously there's so much lifted now on this piece just cut out um, that size will fit just put a little square I only need it on the end and then I can put glue on the rest like so Take a little bit of the backing off and then pop that one like so. And then I'm going to add a little bit of bling. <laughs> Even though it's for a man, man, then like a bit of bling as well, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's put a little bit there, it just needs something. I'm just gonna, these are so tiny, but they really do give off a lovely little, lovely bit of sparkle. Oh, I'm gonna put one in the eye like I did on the other one. I forgot to mention that actually, but one of these fits perfectly in the eye. If I can get it back in there of the bunny. Just push it in right inside, there we go. I think that's enough. I won't go too, too okay, so Let me just bring that up now. Again, the lighting dips when I, there you go. Oh, there we go. You can see a little bit of sparkle. It's got so much dimension, there you go. That just shows you exactly um, how it's lifted, but it does look really good. I'm actually really pleased with how that's turned out now. So there you have it, two little cases to hold a load of sweets for a pound. So it's a bargain little gift, but I think it looks really lovely. And whoever you give it to will know that you've put a lot of work into that. Um, so there you go. So that's the first um, uh, project this month using the new March kit. Um, if you are interested in subscribing to receive the monthly kits, you have until the 21st of every month to subscribe to the next month. So you've got until the 21st of March to subscribe for April's box um, for next month. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's um, tutorial, another one for my Easter series 2018. Stay tuned, I'll be back again tomorrow with another project, so I'm trying to remember then how many we are now. Um, and yeah, please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye!